Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Potluck. Um, I am cooking with my helper today. Can you say hi, Marianne? Uh -huh. She's really tired. We've had a nap, but we're still a little tired. We've had vacation Bible school this week. She's got a little pepper on her tongue. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the recipe that I'm going to be doing today is out of the third edition of the O Taste and See cookbook. It's called Caden's Favorite Dish. Um, and it looks fairly simple. It's a pound of hamburger meat, salt and pepper to taste, onion powder to taste. Here, you can hold those. Two packages of crescent rolls or croissant rolls and uh, American cheese. And that's all it is. Um, you brown up the hamburger meat with the onion powder and the salt and pepper. And Oh, and uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Sorry. Um, so you mix up the hamburger meat and the pepper and just brown it. So I'm gonna get started on that and um, we'll see you later. Okay guys, I have uh, heating up my ground beef, put um, a little bit of salt and pepper in there. I'm gonna put some onion powder in there. Ooh, that might be too much. Uh, and then I'm just going to get that uh, going, excuse. Mary Ann Fessin. Okay guys, so um, I've got my hamburger meat browned. It's a pound of hamburger meat with some salt and pepper and some onion powder. And then it says to coat it with some barbecue sauce. So we're going to throw some Sweet Baby Ray's. This is the original but i guess if you like it um a little bit sweeter you can use you can use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you want so it says and just says coat it i'm thinking this is kind of like a sloppy joe kind of sloppy joe pie that's what i'm going to call it um but anyway so you just coat this i'm going to put a little bit more barbecue sauce on there and it didn't say how much barbecue sauce to use it just said coat it in barbecue sauce. I did drain the hamburger meat. I'm just letting you know. Um, and then I, I finished cooking it. But I'm going to put a little bit more, more barbecue sauce in here. Just to kind of get it juicy. Because um, we we're going to put it in the oven for a little bit. Um, with the uh, Pillsbury crescent rolls or croissant rolls or I'm gonna call them crescent rolls um my hands are stained if you can see that I'm sorry we have like I said earlier we have VBS or maybe I didn't say it earlier we have VBS this week and so everything is stained and tired and this is a really fast uh meal it I mean, it's turning out to be a really fast meal. All I had to do was brown the hamburger meat. And then, um, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna roll out the crescent rolls here in a minute and, um, put the meat inside there and then put the cheese on top and then stick it in the oven and, and bake it for a little bit. And then dinner's done or lunch or whatever. Okay, so, um, the lighting is weird right now. Um, so I've got my, um, cookie sheet that I'm going to be using and it's one of those, um, stone cookie sheets. It's actually from Pamper Chef, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm going to roll out. Really weird. Uh, anyways, there's some weird shadow on there. Sorry. Um, so it says to... I'm always scared those are going to pop on me. Um, it says to roll out one package of crescent rolls. And I guess you could... Um, you could use, uh, like, individual... Um, crescent rolls and just make um you know, like little pies so if you did it like in fourths and just mush these together 
I've made other recipes that have crescent rolls as a top and bottom crust and you just kind of mush the seams together so they don't so the stuff doesn't ooze out of that but I guess if you wanted to you could cut this in half and make individual individual um, little pie things um, and then I've also put it in a, like a 9 by 13 um, pan and just kind of pushed it all the way to the edges I guess that would work with this too push it all the way to the edges and then um, just lay the other one on top of it and not really uh, made a, you know, not really pushed it together as far as like a top and bottom shell. So if the, oh, you'll see. Y'all, I'm tired. So it says to spoon in the meat mixture. And this is still hot, so I don't know if uh, that matters. Um, it just kind of kind of spread it out. As if you could double the recipe if you wanted to. Um, we might do that next time if the kids really like this, because it, like I said, it's not that hard to to make, and it's like a really really easy easy dish. If I was looking this up and I didn't know who Caden was, I'd probably call it, you know, like a sloppy joe pot pie or something or a sloppy joe something because that's kind of what this is reminding me of. I'm leaving, trying to leave some space on the edge so that I can um, fold up the the uh, or crinkle up the pie so mm, mm, that looks about about even maybe okay so you do that and then it says you put american cheese and you probably buy american cheese it's not craft american cheese but i always grew up with you know craft american cheese so um you say individually unwrap these things and just lay them lay them out it didn't say how many it was gonna take so we're just gonna it just said lay them out um and add slices of american cheese evenly over ground beef and then top with a second can of croissant rolls or crescent rolls and pinch the sides together. Cook in the oven for about 15 minutes or until crescent rolls are golden brown and enjoy. So it looks like, even if the kids don't like this, I'm gonna like it because I like Sloppy Joes. I don't know if the kids have ever had Sloppy Joes. I had one that is a, he doesn't like different textures on his food. So for the longest time, he would not eat spaghetti sauce, you know, spaghetti sauce with meat in it. Um, he called this kind of meat messy meat, and he would refuse to eat it because it was messy meat. And now the boy eats anything and everything. So I would say that that would be covered. And then we'll just open up this other thing of crescent rolls. And you can't really um, roll these out on um, on top of this. So um, I'm just going to kind of sp spread it out. Maybe we'll figure out which way these things go, which direction they roll. So I'm going to kind of just lay it over and then kind of try to bring it together as much as I can. Eh. Uh, see? And then the cheese is stuck to the crescent roll. So, that's why I did that on the bottom. So I can fold up the bottom to the top. Aha. Sometimes I'm smart. Sometimes not so much. But this time, 
think that will work. And then it just says to pinch the sides. So we're just gonna pinch that kind of together. Pinch it together as much as we can. Maybe I filled it too much. Maybe I should have stacked the, the meat mixture up just a little bit. But I'm gonna call that done. All right, Caden, I'm gonna stick this in the oven. And if you can smell it, you can come on over to the house and and enjoy some of it with us. But if you can't, then uh, I'll just have to let you know what I thought about it later. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll show you what the final product looks like in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm still doing this with one hand, so forgive me. So, I'm gonna grab this out of here. And that is Caden's favorite dish. So we're gonna move this over here. Okay. Oh, and eating some cheese. So that, my friends, is Caden's favorite dish. And it looks absolutely yummy. So I'm gonna grab a fork and grab a bite of it. Don't forget to um, like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll see you next time and we'll figure out what's for dinner next. Okay, I just have to say, I just took a bite of this. Um, Kaden, <laughs> good choice. This is an excellent meal.